it is 6.23 a.m. I don't know why I got up this early. It's about 45 degrees, but I'm doing an interesting challenge today. We're doing a tandem kayak versus a John boat. Me and my friend Alec, aka Fire Pond Boy, versus three subscribers on a farm pot. That's what we got going. Alec is about 30 minutes away, so I'm gonna take a quick nap in the truck, and then we're going fishing. Oh my God, look at the kayak. Boy, <laughs> Boy you ready to catch him? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Alec is here. It's been about 30 minutes. I think it's like almost 7 o'clock, but it's freezing outside. My hands are like numb holding this out the window. We're gonna catch some biggins. Fire pond guy. Fire pond. It's going down. What kind of contraption do we got going on here? Is there like anywhere to even put like rods or like tackle? I don't know. I went to the outdoor rec last night where you can rent this sort of thing. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Got it. All right, do you think I can fit four rods? I mean, normally I take about 40, but we're gonna have to do it four. Like, I, see, I don't bring lures, I bring rods. Like, that's the difference. Yeah, I'm aware. You can tie on one tie. I think I'll just bring the rod. How am I gonna do this? Like, I'm used to bringing like 27 tackle boxes. Okay, how do we, how do we work this thing, mister? I don't know. I've never done this before. Come on. <laughs> Mom, I'm ready. You guys are going to have to come rescue us. <laughs> oh. Dude, you're going to hook set and flip us. Oh, God. Why did we do this? This was such a bad idea. <laughs> this was such a bad idea. <laughs> okay, folks at home that are watching, don't do what we're doing. Especially when it's 40 degrees and hypothermia is a legit concern at the moment. Okay, all right. That's... That's team, that's team loser, team two, and uh, team winner in the uh, d double kayak. Team it's uh, team juice, 7.30, we're gonna end this at 9.30. Two hour challenge, best five. We've got the real sonar scales to weigh our fish. Alec and I are in the kayak. We're just gonna be catching biggins all day. And uh, two hour challenge, see who can catch the five biggest fish. Yeah, we'll, we we'll just go straight and then we're gonna go that way and work that bank. Right. Uh, should I go plopper? Sure, why not? All right, here comes the first cast with the massive treble hooked whopper plopper. But like, I mean, we're probably in like five feet. I think the deepest is 10, but that's out by those like trees. Actually, you know, I'm pretty confident a jerk bait would slay. Like cold, wa cold, clear water. I don't think they're gonna eat the top water. At least not something this big. Let's try the chatter bait. Something. Still a moving bait, reaction bait, but not quite so top water ish. Oh, shit. You have a fish? Yeah. Oh, gosh, you got a fish. Uh oh. Big one. Right, we'll take her. We'll take her. First fish by Alec. Yeet. Alec's first fish. Little baby. But, uh. 1.15. 1.15. First fish. There you go. See you, buddy. Good work. Jeez. Cheese and rice. Okay, since Alec caught the uh, fish on a Senko, I'm gonna go to like a little flipping bait. Something a little bit more subtle. It was a really cold night, super clear water, and it's dead, dead calm. So I don't think they're they're gonna want some moving baits. As of right now, as that sun heats the water up a little bit, they may uh, they may start munching chatter baits and whatnot. But for now, we are gonna rock a Texas rig. Setting the hook of the Texas rig, sitting down like this is gonna be so much fun. I just need a five, a couple threes. All right, so I decided to go to the weightless Senko. I think the fish are just, they're just, I don't know, they're just not very active today. It's, like I said, it was really cold last night. It was like 40 some degrees it got down to, and there's absolutely no wind. So my bass fishing uh, knowledge that I have tells me to just kind of go finesse and to get backlashes. That's always key too. So right now I am dragging a weightless Senko in the middle of the pond. Alec back there is throwing a lipless crankbait. Catching mainly just weeds for the moment, but um, the other boat's got close to a four pounder and then about a one pounder. We've got a one pounder. So they're, they're definitely whooping us right now. He got his on a chatterbait, but fish are just not active today. Last time I was here, it was just a lot better fishing. It's just gotten really cold. And uh, so the fish is, they're just not active today. So we're, uh, we're mixing up the baits, trying 
trying new stuff and uh, it's got about like an hour, hour and 15 minutes left of the tournament to catch some biggins. All right, this is what you do when uh, you're not catching any fish. Oh. <laughs> I hooked something. You, you broke a rod? I got, I got some. <laughs> that, that right there was the, uh, the highlight of the, the fishing trip this morning is we're uh, having a war. It's 3v2 casting lures at each other. It's extremely safe. I advise you never to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're uh, we're gonna get back to business catching catching some launches. You don't up on out of there now, boy. <laughs> I'm on land. <laughs> well, we made it off the water without flipping, so it's a, it's a win for not flipping this thing. Well, I think Alec and I might go to another pond. So we are leaving leaving the pond here. We're gonna go to a new pond, not a new one, sorry, another pond. This is a pond that I've been to before. It's uh, it's one of Alex's fire ponds, so we're gonna go there. So we made it to the second pond right there. It's nice outside, it's sunny and it's a little windy and uh, I think I'm gonna start off with a black and blue chatterbait and uh, see if we can catch some biggins. Come on, fish. I need to redeem myself from this morning. I really just sucked it up out of that freaking kayak. Did you bring your Alabama rigs? You shatter over here schooling. It looked like he was standing in that opening. Biggin? Biggin? Oh, you caught him in the creek? I told you. Look at this. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good that one. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, cold water fish. There you go. That's probably two and a quarter or so. Was that Sanko? Mojo rig Sanko? Yep. Look at those colors on that fish, dude. That's crazy. Look at that. Finally. Out of this. Out of this creek. It's out like. Of this four foot wide creek. It's literally like a tiny little creek here. And I'm throwing chatterbait in the middle of the pond and he's just fishing this little creek. There she is, boys. All right, I'm gonna see if this, this jerk bait does any damage. There's one. Oh golly. Smoked that jerk bait. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Here we go. That's actually not that's not bad. That's two. That's at least a two. Yeah, it's a two. Jerk bait. That's what we're talking, boys. The uh the old jerk bait came in clutch. Saw a little two pounder. Alright, see you Wrigley. God, dude, I love jerkbait fishing. I, I don't know, something something about just like, you jerk it like this, and then you just let it sit there, and you don't do anything, and then you, when you reel down, all of a sudden something just slams it. Like, it's just like, it's just such a surprise. It's like topwater fishing, but you don't see it. Oh, there's one. Oh, two for two, baby. Just kidding, just kidding. It's, it's, it's weeds. All right, two for two, guys. Yep, two for two on the weeds. I'm really good at fishing. Well, folks, I'm on the dam now. Seeing if uh, this is where all the big chicks are hanging out. There's one. Oh, finally, out in the middle. Okay, they're not shallow. They're not shallow. Let's see how big he is. There we go. A little one and a halfer. Just kidding, it's not, it's not very big, but I'll take it. See you later, Shathid. All right, well, I just pulled a parrot and I just caught a fish like right there and I wasn't recording. For some reason, after I caught that last one, I didn't hit the record button. Not that it really matters, but just for the record, I did just catch about a two pounder on uh, this spinner bait. So I'm gonna attempt to catch a few more. There's one. Woo! Toad. Toad. Spinner bait slouch. I think I definitely found the color that they like. I was throwing a white one. They didn't eat that. They didn't eat a black and blue chatter bait. They wanted that little color mixed into it. Gorgeous cold fish. These things are frozen. But no, no bangings today. Unfortunately, just a bunch of flare fish. 
See you later, Benjamin. All right, I'm done. I'm headed home. Well, that is the end of this fishing adventure. Caught a lot of fish. No, we didn't. We caught some fish. Uh, no biggins though, which kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to catching some some toads, some fall biggins, but it just didn't really work out today. Um, I mean, I, I like I was saying earlier, I kind of had an off day today. Just didn't really feel in the zone. But I know I wanted to come out and do some fishing, especially before it gets too cold. I uh, get some videos for you guys to go have fun, catch some fish. Hopefully you guys liked the mix-up of the kayak fishing versus the uh, the John Boat tournament. I thought that was, obviously I wish it would have gone better where we all caught a bunch of fish. But overall I thought it was still kind of fun, hopefully entertaining for you guys to watch. If you guys want to know, um, the rod, the reel, the line, or the lures that I was, that I was using today, uh, I guess mainly just the jerk bait and the spinner bait. I'll put all that stuff down in the description. Uh, if you guys want to see you do ice fishing or more duck hunting or goose hunting or deer hunting, um, just let me know. I don't know. I'm kind of not running out of ideas, uh, but now that the fishing season is coming to an end, I'm kind of having to brainstorm different ideas for entertaining content for you guys to watch and uh, fun things for me to do to enjoy. So let me know what you, any ideas you guys have for fishing or for hunting or not even fishing or hunting. It could be outdoor, it could be camping, it could be just vlogging, going to Six Flags and riding roller coasters. I don't know. You just, whatever you guys want to see, you guys just let me know down in the comment section. But that's all I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. You have fish? Yep. Fish? Oh, God! Yes, Lord. White chatterbait. Well, lucky there.